All right, so video number two here is going to highlight how you guys are going to take that pencil and if you want, you do not have to do this way. It's a little bit more work, but it might establish you a nice little uh, a nice little handle for your needle tool. And what this is, and it might take a try or two because I had I had one pencil that just didn't want to cooperate with me. And it's going to take a little bit of work to do the surgery to remove the lead. graphite whatever it's called from your pencil this one's pretty well in there because Ticonderoga is making some nice pencils Dixon Ticonderoga this stuff usually snaps out pretty easily Cutting away from my body, practicing good habits. Where's that? There we go. Oh, there's still a little piece in there. Again, this one is going to, this method is going to be at least a little bit more work. And this is also going to apply to all of you who have those little shorter needle tools. So now you can imagine what's going on. I'm going to take off that little piece of duct tape because that doesn't need to be there. And we are replacing the lead with our freshly carved needle tool. But it's not going to be as simple as just taking the top and attaching it to the bottom and putting some tape. We want there to be a little bit of pressure so that our needle tool, the needle, does not slide out of our handle. So if you have white glue available to you, this is going to be a great help. Hot glue works, epoxies, any type of glue. Wood glue is going to be wonderful. Put a little strip of the stuff right there. A little up and back right there so that you get the glue all over the place. Then we're going to close them up. Now we're not done there. Because we want to keep it stuck, we want it to stay there while it dries. Now we get to go to duct tape good old duct tape and I'm gonna take a couple of strips wrap it around try and make it a little bit nice a little bit more pretty than I did my first round because if you have a nice strong bond with this duct tape then it will hold it really nicely And what I can do at any point is take the duct tape, duct tape off if I want, or I can leave it like so. And it's that simple. And now I've got myself a nice little needle tool. It's going to be great for scoring and slipping. I will be using this during demonstrations this one or this one that I made earlier just a smaller version cool